I said on Air Force One that I would like you to call into Indiana, Indianapolis, anywhere you want, Indiana, and I wanted to see if you could find a rabbi and a pastor to say grace. And I said, I know we have tremendous crowd, and I think they'd all understand it. I think most of them would love it. And we found a highly respected rabbi, Benjamin Sandro, who's highly respected. And we found a great pastor. Don't forget, they were given about eight minutes notice. It's like, can you get over here immediately? And we have Pastor Tom O'Leary from the area. Oh, look at that. They know Tom O'Leary. Look. Wow. And I thought I would invite them on stage. Let's give them a big round and then let them each say grace, say a prayer, because today's a time when we could use a great prayer from a pastor and a rabbi. Please come on, please. Would you close your eyes and open your heart and pray with me today? <clears throat> Father in heaven, we don't always understand why crazy things happen in our world, but we're reminded that this earth we live on will never be as great as heaven and never as horrific as hell, but we get tastes of heaven and hell. It's in this moment, God, that we would ask for your comfort and your love and your grace and your peace to be upon the victims and their family and their friends in this community of faith that we stand up for. God, I pray for the police officers and their families that were affected. And God, we pray for protection for our police officers. We honor them today. God, we pray for protection in America. We pray, God, that your wisdom and favor would be on our president, President Trump. We celebrate that every heartbeat is a gift. We thank you that you're a God of grace and mercy and love. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Rabbi Benjamin. Avinu Shabbat our Father in heaven. Our hearts are heavy today with sorrow. On this day, which from the beginning of time you declared to be holy, the sanctity of the day, the prayers, the praise, were shattered by the sound of gunshots. We first pray that you should send complete healing speedily to the injured and send strength and comfort to the families of those who did not survive. We pray today for moral clarity. Let us not dismiss this as an act of insanity, but let us see it for what it is, an act of evil. As it is written in the Psalms, O Haveronai Sinu Ra, those who love God hate evil, and this is a nation that loves its God, and this is a nation that hates evil. May we continue under the leadership of our president who works tirelessly to fight evil at home and around the world. May we join him in that fight. And may we always remember that the presence of a few evil people among us does not define this country. We are blessed to live in the greatest country on earth, and for that we thank you. Amen.